Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Danger of the Ooze, Old School Style Stress Vest. If you enjoyed Super Metroid, you'll mildly enjoy your time with this game. I say mildly because though it is a clear wannabe, it lacks all charm games like Super Metroid had. This is a 2D action game that I'm massively surprised exists with the audience it's targeting. This is Nickelodeon's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, not the 80s Turtles. This game is targeted at modern day children with a gameplay style I honestly don't believe they'll enjoy or appreciate. Danger of the Ooze is ruthless like many old school games were. This is the first time in a long time that I played a game and had to start a new game because I got to a point where it's too frustrating to try and continue with the situation I got myself in. You start the game with all four turtles, Leonardo, Michelangelo, Donatello, and Raphael. There are a variation of enemies crawling everywhere so chances are that if you aren't used to this style of gaming, aka the majority of the new gaming generation generation that is used to health regeneration, you'll have a frustrating time with this title for its first hour. If you lose a turtle, you have to find that turtle in a restoration room. The only problem is that the room they are in is random, and they can be in any of the 13 map locations you'll visit if you've been there yet or not. You can lose a turtle in the first 10 minutes of the game, and not see him again until nearly the final boss. I personally lost 3 of the 4 in the second map area. Needless to say, I used my final turtle to field the game out and start a fresh save. There are save points in the game which are a great trick to not have to rescue your turtles. If you lose one, just exit out of the map and reload the save. The only problem is, these meditation rooms can be spread 30 minutes apart for non-speedrunners that are trying to get all upgrades they can. There are tons of upgrades you can find that will make traversing the levels easier. Some are story related, others are bonuses like climbing claws, which make level exploration both satisfying and risky. Luckily, enemies drop pizzas so you can replenish your health, and if you get desperate, you can keep switching turtles as they're invulnerable for one second after a switch allowing you to get in some risk-free damage. Defeating enemies will give you XP for levels you can spend on shell kicker upgrades. And to be honest, these upgrades are useless and unless you're going for trophies, there's no reason to grind for them. You can easily skip all enemies and only go after the health upgrades, which in my opinion should have been upgradable with XP rather than hidden collectibles, to give me a reason to button mash my way through levels. If you wanted, you could sit down with a guide and speed run through the lazy bosses and lazy levels and beat this game in under an hour. And in fact, there's a trophy for doing just that. But there's also a trophy for doing and finding everything in the game, which would be fine in most cases is except this game of course forces backtracking. You have to travel all the way back to old sections of the game to access a point on the map you couldn't before, which contradicts everything I just said about exploration being satisfying because it isn't satisfying organically about 20% of the time. You get to a point you work so hard to get to to only find out you have to come back later. It's crap, I hate seeing it in games, and developers need to stop doing it. At first, I could overlook the frustration of backtracking because I know that no two gamers are alike. What I hate, others may enjoy. I could still give this game a decent review, right? Well, I could if the game was as polished and finished as old school classics are. This isn't though. I ran the glitches a few times, and watching enemies fly through walls after I hit them, I can't imagine that getting stuck in walls is a hard thing to do. I have no issues when something like this happens in a game like Assassin's Creed, where your progress is constantly being saved. But if you're gonna make a game that forces a manual save, and spread those manual saves out to about one per map section, your walls better be rock solid, because it's inexcusable for me to have to back out of a game due to a mistake you as developers made rather than me as a player. If you don't mind a bit of stress and are a fan of Super Metroid style games, then the danger of ooze is an okay time. If not, stay away because you'll do more hair pulling than fun having. For what it is, a 2D action adventure game, 6 out of 10, and as an overall game, 5 out of 10 if you played Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles danger of the ooze. Tell me what you've thought about it down in the comment section below. If you haven't played it, tell me if you plan on picking it up. Thumbs up if you like the video, subscribe if you're new to the channel, and tune in Monday for first impressions where you find out what game we are play next. Thanks for watching. See you later. <laughs> no matter. Neutralizer's been in Dimension X our entire battle. Meaning he's had weeks to complete the weapon. Mm. With it, Shredder will have complete control over the mutagen. Able to create whatever he wants. Your days are numbered, Turtles. Yes! We get to go back to Dimension X! I get to be super awesome again!